you may be using the incorrect television settings and may not even know it. A lot of people don't. So I'm going to show you guys. This is Verizon Fios, but it applies to any set-top box that is HD. So let's go to the settings menu and audio and video. First audio. Make sure that your audio format is set to what your actual speaker system is. I've been over friends' houses and they have it on surround sound and they don't have a surround sound setup. A lot of people still have stereo. If you have a sound bar, choose stereo. Set top volume. Uh, I usually just have it on the maximum. Volume control fixed. And this is an important one because a lot of times this will be set to either light or heavy for dynamic range. Put it on none, because you don't want your set-top box messing with stuff. And go backwards, go down to video settings. Well, actually, if you have 3D TV on, <laughs> but you don't have a 3D television, it's definitely wrong. All right, go down to video settings. Go to video format. Now, I don't know why, but when my set-top box was originally installed, the... Um, the installation guy, the technician, had it set to 1080p 16, 16 by 9. You should actually have it set, if you watch mostly television on major networks, 1080i 16 by 9 is the, the choice to make. The reason is, that is the format that they broadcast in. Now there are some excep exceptions. Um, the CW, Fox, and ABC are 720p. So if you tend to watch those, then set it to that. Also, if you watch like Fox News, that's 720p. And I believe CN, yeah, CNN and, and, and <coughs> excuse me, NBC are both 1080i. For the most part, you should keep this on 1080i. The only exception might be if you most of the time watch movies on demand. 1080p is the one to go for, but that's rare. But again, 1080i, and the reason you want to do that is because the up converter and the deinterlacer built into your television is better typically than a Verizon Fios box. I know for a fact that my Sony XBR right here, the, the Bravia, definitely has an excellent deinterlacer that you know is easily better than Verizon. So right now because I'm watching Fox Sports I actually have it set to 720p and just make sure you hit that and you're good to go. For some reason it didn't go through. Okay. SD override. This a lot of times is set to stretch. That is not in my opinion the way to view standard definition footage. Although a lot of people don't like having those black bars on the side. You really want skinny people looking fat. So turn SD override off. TV type. 16 by 9. Unless you're watching this on an old standard definition TV. Graphic settings. A lot of times this will be on standard SD. Again, I don't know why. Um, but definitely put it on HD. Otherwise it will look crummy. Video sharpness, now this actually explains how to do this, but yeah, so you basically set this to the setting where it doesn't look like, um, <laughs> if you don't know what edge enhancement looks like, it's hard to describe, but if it looks flickery, like it's uh, sparkling, yeah. Now here's the ironic part, so you can have these settings, right, but... Instead of this making the you know your picture the full screen, it stays in the corner. So uh, yeah, I don't I don't understand that. I just usually keep it on default. But if you have your sharpness cranked up on your TV, like a lot of people do, then having this set to the lower settings uh, is better. Although you should just decrease the sharpness on your TV because that's the the way to do it. And finally, well, it doesn't really matter with this is set to but I like to have it on just so that anytime the set top box gets turned on I don't have to hit the second button it saves me one little tap <laughs> you just have to remember to turn your TV or your yeah turn your TV off 
after you turn the set top box off because it does not turn it off. You know, that's just the way it goes. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. And if you learned something, give it a thumbs up. And if you disagree with something I had to say, I'd love to hear it in the comments section. See ya.